Hello, I am Dr. Shandavumari, working as chief physician at Madha Ayurveda Hospital, Trivandra. Now I am facing you to discuss about the treatment of floaters according to Ayurvedic theory. Because the floater, the term is very common nowadays. And the people or patients searching for the treatment of uh, floaters the number is increasing drastically. That itself means the patients are increasing. And why they are coming to Ayurveda, Ayurvedic says that also is very important. First of all, uh, let us consider what is a floater. The term just means something that floats, floats were in the visual fields, in the air. So, it may be an object. They feel like an object, maybe a dot, or sometimes a web, or a string, or a thread. And different types of objects, they experience floating in the visual field. That is why the term floaters. And many people uh, usually experience these floaters in their daily life, but uh, usually they just ignore it. Because most of them are harmless. It is very common in old age, in senility. So, the doctors also will say it is harmless, you just ignore it, need not go for a treatment for that, like that. But the problem is that in, in some cases, that means in uh, youth or in middle age, um, before senility, they will be experiencing some other symptoms also. Some will dryness, there will be um, intolerance to bright light or sometimes redness, repeated redness or watering or so many other symptoms also may be developed. This group of people are searching for the treatment usually. So one more dangerous factor is there that these clotters may be associated with many other serious ocular diseases, different types of pathologies. Uh, uh, for example, chorioretinopathy and retinal detachment and vitreous detachment and macular degenerations, etc. etc. Even in hypertensive retinopathy and uh, this uh, diabetic retinopathy, there also we can experience this uh, these uh, different types of floaters. So, a differential diagnosis is absolutely necessary. Without having a uh, correct or pakka diagnosis, we can't go for a treatment. This is the point I want to uh, stress. Okay, then uh, let us consider about the treatment. Before going to treatment, uh, we have to classify these floaters into two groups. One is independent harmless, harmless in the sense of not making any serious abnormalities or danger results. And second group is floaters which is associated with other ocular disease. These are the two groups. Now let us consider the first group that is uh, simple floaters. They may not be experiencing any other um, symptoms like uh, vis serious visual problems or pain or nothing like that. But if it is increasing, the number is increasing, take care, don't ignore it. Because whatever may be the pathology behind that, that is increasing, progressing. That is the uh, reason why number is increasing. So here, according to Ayurvedic principles, we can say the, the functioning factor behind this is Vada. Vada is, uh, there are only three factors we are considering in Ayurveda and Vada is the most prominent one, important one. And any abnormality or any change in its normal function will lead to so many diseases and the floaters also can be grouped under this head. So, strengthening or making it normal is the line of treatment in the case of floaters. 
so the medicines will be second the medicines are to be selected which will work in the ocular tissue to normalize this vada that will give good results there are so many treatment procedures for that for example suitable types of oil for the head and different types of treatment procedures using oils shirodhara shiro vasti and shiro bhinga like that so many different types of procedures are there and then suitable ocular medications eye drops and uh, suitable oil this uh, medicated ghee preparations this are uh, seem to be very effective but the selection should be very very careful now coming to second group that is uh, floaters associated with other ocular diseases most of i have seen one uh, funny thing the people or patient will be describing only about floater and they will think that i am treating for the other disease it is okay i have made clear demand i am doing treatment for that i need treatment only for floaters or they will say i have some retinal detachment and i have done surgery and such and such things are already happened and now i have floaters i want to remove floater anything in ayurveda like that this approach is very bad because that is only a symptom of that particular pathology so we cannot handle one symptom only it is not the the uh, basic uh, approach of ayurvedic treatment so while considering floaters we have to consider the basic the fundamental disease also then only the treatment will be perfect for that first we will be concentrating on the underlying um, disease maybe uh, retinopathy or hypertension retinopathy or um, uh, uh, coronitis whatever it may be we have to consider the root cause once it is already removed or managed other thing will uh, will be resolved by itself or at that stage we can do some special treatment for that also that is the point i have to mention here don't ignore other conditions while considering floaters both should be treated side by side that only will give you the best results okay then i want to stress one point once again if you are seeing any floaters don't ignore it because believe keep it in mind that it is not normal it is not a normal symptom it is something abnormal and the only thing is to find out whether it is harmless or not that is the importance even though it is harmless better to our to give some remedy to remove it if it is a harmful floater be prepared for a systematic treatment to um, remove it then only you will get the best results okay then need not be afraid of this floaters it is treatable there is methods in ayurveda to handle it and you will get good result also then thank you i understand the mari who shared these points for you and i am working at madhayurveda hospital children